Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Emily Hansen. April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month. So what are you doing? Who knew Guru was coming? He's coming. Oh man. Already this year, we've recorded nearly 4,000 distracted driving related crashes in Ohio. But we know that number is likely much higher, but distracted driving crashes often go unreported. Just last week, ODOT hosted meetings about distracted driving in Bowling Green, Medina, and Cincinnati. And we had in Dr. Paul Ashley from the University of Kansas, and his presentation focused on the limits of the human brain to multitask and resist temptation with our, with our cell phones and checking our cell phones, especially during important tasks like driving and navigating. Uh, the safety program also handed out three regional collaboration awards, known as the Safeties, where we awarded $3,000 each to our groups and communities that are doing outstanding work in uh, limiting fatalities and serious injuries on our roadways. It's a growing problem not only in Ohio, but the rest of the nation. We put messages on our highway message boards and several posts on social media urging Ohioans to just drive. Let's put the phone away. Yeah, absolutely. Crews are working hard to get US 50 in southwestern Ross County reopened to one lane of traffic again soon. A slip repair project began earlier this month, but torrential rains caused the slip to get even worse, forcing ODOT to close the highway. We are currently constructing a secondary wall. This wall will be to get the one lane of traffic back open. Uh, after we get the one lane of traffic back open, we'll start constructing the primary wall which is to remediate the entire slip. The project is scheduled to be completed later this summer. District 6 and central office teams went above and beyond after a tanker crash and fire destroyed a bridge on I-70 in Columbus back in 2015. They were recognized in a big way. The team received the governor's award for employee excellence for their diligent work. Our crews and the contractor were able to get repairs done and the bridge reopened within 21 days, well ahead of schedule. A much deserved recognition. Amazing. Well, last week, the Who New Guru talked about ODOT's brand and all that it stands for. This week, he's unveiling our new brand identity. The ODOT Zephyr, it's a powerful image. It connects ODOT's people and culture to the diverse audiences which we serve. It's a dynamic reflection of the department's active commitment to serving the needs of our transportation system and the people like you that rely on it. The Zephyr is our most visible asset. To meet operational needs, we have four unique variations of the Zephyr. The seal, well that's used for equipment, facilities, contracts, it's real official and formal. And the word mark, that's used for more business functions. Well, one of my favorites is Zephyr. It's the most widely used and less formal logo, mostly found on promotional materials. But what we've all been waiting for, I know, finally introducing our hot new logo. Drum roll please. Zephyr God. Almost everyone refers to us as ODOT, yet we never had a visual identity that said ODOT until now. You'll start seeing Zephyr Dot throughout all of our digital platforms, swag, and printed giveaways. Who knew? Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And of course, we'd love to hear your story ideas or comments. Send us an email to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And please keep sending us great videos like this one. And now you're in the loop!